Time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Mr. Fix-It is back. Good morning, Lou. Good morning. Um, I have a question. Are you, um, do you have the green thumbs? Do you like uh, gardening I've got a little one bit? green thumb. Yeah, I was out there the other day putting some flowers in pots and yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, Very good. I watered yeah, them, well, Lou. I mean, Right, I like that. Well, that's the key, watering them. That's important. <laughs> uh, I do I do remember you saying something about your mother loves flowers, right? Yeah, and she does, yeah. Maybe g g buys it a little too early. Yeah. So now it's time to get outside. That is absolutely for sure that um, we can do that planting. Um, you know, this weather has been crazy. This, we haven't seen it in a while. It's called the sun. And um, <laughs> I've always given the advice that after Mother's Day, you can go ahead and plant these flowers because the chances of a, a frost, while it could still happen because this weather lately has been crazy, um, we're in pretty good shape to get out there and do that. And you'll find that the garden centers and the home centers and the hardware stores are pretty well stocked. So you can find a bunch of different flowers that you like. And it's really up to you. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the tags that are inside. Those are petunias, which I, I really kind of like petunias because they're a really good sun shade mixed flower that after just a short amount of time, they're gonna start bursting. Now, this is uh, how you're gonna set up for success. This is one of my favorite organic fertilizers, Malorganite. Put a little bit of this in a container that you can take with you before the planting and then get some fresh black dirt that has a little compost mix in it. You know, you can buy it for three, four dollars a bag. And then what I want you to do in whatever pots or containers you're gonna use, or even in the ground, sprinkle some of this malorganite into the soil before you do any planting, and then take a little garden shovel and mix it in. The whole idea is we're trying to get that natural organic fertilizer down into the dirt as well. And you know, with that shovel I'm using there, it's probably about six inches long or so. Then lay out your plants how you want them and you're going to pull uh, the little pods out of the plastic containers typically and then i'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and now the roots because they've been in such a small area you want to massage them a little bit uh, to kind of loosen them up a little bit before you plant them i'm a big fan of using your bare hands in the soil i think there's nothing more, uh, what, what, uh, not, romantic's not the right word, just exhilarating uh, to put that in there because you feel that soil, you're getting the plants in there. You wanna make sure that you're uh, putting that pod in all the way to the top of it and just keep that soil nice and loose around it. And then you're just gonna go ahead and you know create your pattern as I mentioned. Again, paying attention to the sun and the shade mix wherever you're gonna be putting these plants. and. While the plants will tell you how close they should go, typically, I like to put them a little bit closer because when they come in, I like to see them really full and, 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 and kind of bursting. So whatever it's telling you to do, cut it in half and, uh, and then put them in there. And when, you know, in a couple weeks or so, this is gonna be like overflowing. You won't even see any of the dirt. And the trick then is, as you mentioned, Lauren, you gotta water it. And in particular, you're gonna water it right away, right after you plant it, to kind of wake them up because now they're gonna be like, wow, I'm not in that container anymore. And then probably for the next couple of days, you're gonna water and then just pay attention to the plants. Don't overwater. When you start to see a little wilting on the leaves, go back and water it again. And we're gonna be set up for success all season long. All right, thank you, Lou. You can check out House Smarts on Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. Lou is also on WGN Radio with his show House Smarts Radio. Catch it on Saturdays from 6 to 10 a.m. Hey, Paul.